very um, very important now for you You were struck by lightning, so I'm very, very worried. Please just try to look at me. You just need to open your eyes, and everything will be okay. Oh dear, let me listen to your heart. You need a mouth to mouth resolution. Just, just need to open your shirt. my eyes. Can you see me? Can you recognize me? Oh, I'm so happy. Wait. Wait, I'm a little bit closer to you. Oh dear. Oh, you can't imagine how happy I am at this moment. I was so worried. So very, very worried. Please don't do something like that. We'll be everything okay now. Everything will be fine. No, no, it's okay. But we need to go home. You were maybe struck by lightning, and this is very dangerous, so I need to examine your body, your head, your body, your sight, your hearing. It's important for me to know if you can go home or if I should looking for someone who can help us. It's a little bit difficult here in this forest. But, um, I hope it's okay, yeah? Uh, your eyes are open, so... Maybe it isn't that dangerous like I thought. Um, look at me. Um, I will just. When I touch your arms like this and move your hands just a little bit, a little bit that way here. Mm -hmm. Good. And on the other side, just it's okay for you. Good, very good, very good. And um, now I will. Um, have a look at your legs, yeah? Um, how was it when I touched them? 
like this. And do you have any pain by moving your foot uh, a little bit circle like? Okay, and the other leg. There's nothing broken um, and that's very good. That means we can go home. But first I need to um, examine your sight and your hearing. It's important for me to know if your heart is maybe hot. Yes? Seems like you were not um, Yes, it seems like you were not struck by lightning. There's no branding injuries. Just you were just fall down the hill. Maybe just a fright, you know. Okay. Yes, you had. Let me. Um, does it hurt when I touch your head like this? No. So then let's start with the examination of your side here. Yeah? And this is going to be not so difficult like you could maybe think. I'm just going to move my finger from one side to the other side, from your nose back to the forest here. And you have to follow my finger, yes? And what I'm going to do is just to have a look at your eyes. I want to see how fluent they can follow the finger. Okay? Good. Then let's start, okay? So, I start here. My finger keeps focus 
on my finger to the slit. Um, can you tell me which color the slave has? Green, very good. And can you tell me the color of the color of those flower things? Those little ones. Yes, it's red. Very good. So your side is okay. You have some heart, some ache, but it comes just from falling down, yeah? It will be okay. Now I will examine your hearing and what I'm going to do is just to make some sounds on your one ear or on your other ear, yes? And you can just, just close your eyes and you have to tell me where you can hear the sound on which side of your head on the both sides of your head. Perfect. I think you're okay. Yes. Uh, there's something something on your foot. It isn't broken, but you will have some trouble to walk. So uh, I will just help you to stand up and then I will help you then I will just help you to walk home so I promise you, I will not let happen something bad to you, okay? I'm here. I will always protect you. Okay. Just. Yeah, just. <laughs> so, it's like this. Um. Just sit down, okay? Yeah, take a place. Good, very good. Let me have a look at you. Are you okay? Good. Um, yes, it was a little bit rainy outside. I think I should um, cover you with this blanket first, okay? I have Look, this nice nice blanket for you I'll just put it around your shoulders and around your body. So just a little bit here. Um,
We are at home here and is everything okay? Uh, your cheeks are very cold and I think <laughs> are my hands warm? Yes, it's nice. It feels good. Feel the warmth with someone else and just has just this human warmth. But I think I should uh, I should get a towel and tone you down you are a little bit wet because of the rain and it is good I want you to get a cold you know and I will make some fire in the fireplace I think we need it a little bit warmer here This town here, and I will be very careful. But if you, if I should uh, hurt you somewhere, if you have any ache, you don't, you don't have to be shy. You have to tell it, okay? But I will be very careful. So I hope it will be okay. I'm just going to tell down. I should be a little bit here here. I'm just going to put it over your head like this and rubbing a little bit.
unzips it. Can you hear it? This is a tea kettle. Uh, this is sound means it's time to make your tea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Just, just wait a little bit, my dear. Just calm down and wait for your tea. <laughs> I will be back in no time at all. <laughs> Here's a warm apple tea for you. You can just hold it like this. And it will warm your hands. And when you then make You will feel the warmth in your throat, in your chest, and in your stomach. And it will spread into your whole body. Maybe you can. I think it is always an amazing feeling to drink a nice hot tea after a long and hot day, you know. Just, just enjoy the tea. You just, just take. You was very brave and I'm so proud of you. I am just happy to see the with you and to listen to the fire sounds. To 
evening together just you and me and just have nice time together. 